Hi, I'm Malin, and for a lot of my life, I never really felt like I fit in. I was someone who was naturally more inclined to withdraw and be an introvert, and that led me to not really building up much of my social skills. It also led me to a lot of time overthinking things, ruminating on things, and this caused like a lot of problems because, you know, as a, identifying as an introvert, I kind of convinced myself that I didn't need to see people as much. And I also felt like growing up, I had to kind of act a certain way or be a certain person in front of other people to kind of be accepted. And this just led to me just holding in so much. And like, it was like this big dam that was just building up and it made me feel like really lonely, really like kind of depressed and almost like meaningless, like this deep sense of just discontent with my life. And we, we do need people, people are kind of important, but I didn't build up my social skills and I didn't really realise that until I moved away from home to a place where I knew no one and it wasn't, I couldn't just move back home, it was like, I kind of had to, yeah, it was just difficult to get back home and that caused me to kind of realise that I really took for granted the people in my life, I didn't really appreciate them and what it meant to me to just be able to spend some time with people and just like talk to them. And just like have like a few people, I only had like a few people that I saw even when I was here where I am now back home. But just having that was like just this relief because we are kind of social creatures and we do need other people. And I really undervalued that. So the main problem with me never, never fitting in was first off, you know, identifying with the introvert. And telling myself that I was an introvert which caused me to withdraw further and then just not build my social skills, not connect to other people. And also me feeling like I had to act and be a certain way. I never really got across my thoughts and feelings and I just ended up like repressing them. And then at times when I'd like break, I'd like cut people off. And it's kind of sad now looking back at it because there's so many people that cared for me and that just were, were so nice to me and were good people to me and then I just kind of cut them off and I just disappeared from so many of them. And another problem with never fitting in was that I never felt like I had a place anywhere. I never felt like I had my thing. You know, I had all these different interests. I was interested in music. I was interested in acting for a while. I kind of liked parts of art. I got into photography for a while. I really liked soccer, but I didn't really connect to the people that were doing it and I didn't really have many male friends. Well, I didn't have any male friends until year 11 at school, really. I had a couple few from soccer and that over my first couple years of high school, but then most of my friends were girls because I just felt a bit more comfortable with them because they were a little bit more mature and I didn't have to worry about the guys talking about girls all the time, which kind of made me feel really uncomfortable because I wasn't very confident in my sexuality as I've talked about in the past. And I never built any skills in anything, I never stuck to anything and I, I kind of had this lazy kind of mindset in the back of my mind where if things kind of sucked that I wouldn't go into them too far. And this was like to my detriment because I would try all these things for a little while and then I'd kind of go off of them when, I, when they weren't fun anymore. I wouldn't stick through it and see results through it. And that's what I found really beneficial recently was when, for example, when I started doing painting and I did 55 paintings. Even though I've stopped painting recently because my focus has been drifted to other way, I want to channel my focus towards certain things. With painting, I just dedicated myself to that and I wanted to become really good at it and I wanted to learn how to do it and understand how to do it. And I committed to doing a painting like almost every day. And that was really beneficial because it taught me that you can become better at a skill and I can learn skills and that just because I'm bad at something at the moment doesn't mean I'll always be bad at it. And there's this certain satisfaction you get when you see like your results, like how far you've come. And it kind of made me realize like in the past, like for example, now I want to record an album because for so long I didn't put all of my effort into, I didn't put enough effort into my music, you know, I just kind of half-assed it, did it well enough. 
and I thought that was all I had to do, all that I was going to do, and I thought like, oh, maybe this isn't that fun because I'm not really getting that good at it, and I'm okay at it, but I'm not great at it, and that was because I didn't put enough effort into it. And then I kind of felt out of place with other musicians because they were so much better than me. They were singing so much better. They were playing so much better. They had so much more knowledge. And I just didn't because I didn't commit to it. I was just kind of doing whatever I felt like. And I didn't really commit to doing it. And now I want to record an album because I've recorded an album in the past, but I wasn't happy with it because I didn't put everything into it. I didn't make it meaningful. And like, I didn't sacrifice for it. I didn't put, I didn't get it out how I wanted it to. And so how this ties into not, not fitting in is that I didn't have any skills or any kind of competence in anything. So I didn't really have a lot of confidence in myself. I didn't have the experience of dedicating myself to something and learning and experiencing like the depth of that and how like you can become better at things. And this is also kind of like a mindset shift that I needed to take was that I was looking for people in certain groups that kind of were the same as me. But sometimes it's like nice to have friends that are from different sort of groups and that it doesn't make them any dumber if they're from music versus soccer. It doesn't make them any better. It's just different and they have different perspectives. And it's really interesting to actually see that people from these different kind of things, like I have a friend that I still see from soccer and some other friends that I still see from soccer that I get along well with. And then I have one friend from good friend from music that I also still see that. And it's kind of interesting because even though they're such different things, they kind of have similarities and you can kind of see like, oh, these people can be intelligent no matter what they kind of do. And these people kind of have experiences no matter what they do. And as a human, I can relate to that if I can kind of open my mind up to that rather than getting so withdrawn and introverted and just cutting myself off because I felt so much different to other people. And that's probably the third problem was that I wasn't open to other people. I wasn't open to kind of these experiences. I was kind of cut off and really rigid and I didn't realize like, oh, everybody kind of has their own story. Everyone has their own challenges and kind of things. and. I can judge them and kind of just immediately say like, oh, this person, I'm not going to be friends with, or this person doesn't have any anything interesting to say. But you'd be quite surprised by what people have to say and what their stories are and what they've kind of learnt because everybody kind of has a lot more knowledge than you kind of realise and they've had a lot more experiences than you realise. So that was just kind of some of the things that helped me to kind of feel like I fit in a bit more. So I found it, I'll go, I'll recap. So what I found beneficial was just being open to other people and to realize like, oh, they have, they may have different interests to me, but they can have similar kind of perspectives and we can still have fun doing other things together. And another thing is that building competence in a skill, you know, and exposing yourself out to that in public um, makes you meet more new people you know and you can connect to more people if you go out there and do things and then you kind of have more confidence in yourself because you've done something and you've built results with it and these things like they do take time and it is tough and I'm going to go over that in the future but for now I just want to talk about I just wanted to talk about not fitting in and how how I felt and how that felt for me and what's kind of helped me to get through that. Because as someone who's identified as an introvert, if someone's more naturally inclined to withdraw, I've seriously undervalued other people and the importance that it has. And I can't stress enough how much you should look at it and how much you should kind of reflect and see how much it kind of means and can impact you, especially if you're someone like me who has struggled a lot with not fitting in and has kind of felt lost and alone because I wanted to create this video so that somebody who had been in my situation can see and understand it as well. 
and like not feel alone like I did and kind of see that there's other people that are experiencing similar things if you just kind of open up your eyes and just you can find them online but in person sometimes it's harder so thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next video